Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here, and we're back with some more... I was about to say Conran Zanke. What year is it? We're back with some more Sorakagi, and we're about to go see if this archive still exists, or if Allo probably got to it first. Let's see. Huh? When'd you get the key? I asked the, I asked the doc after lunch. I have to return it tomorrow. Now, take a look at this. They're Coper's record? Never mind, it's still there. Yes. But look at this note and look at Coper's classworks. Hmm. Mm, it's that's weird. It's exactly the same handwriting. Even the little dots in the eyes are the same. So that note you found really belonged to Coper? But again, how would you know if that's not how would you know that if it's not just a joke? I can assure you it's not. I went to ask Rosa about Coper and you know her. She likes to be on good terms with everyone. And she has a really good memory. She was adamant at one point, uh, Coper wasn't the funny type. But I couldn't rely on that one single account, so I also asked Orion the same question. You know how his memory's a bit, um, faulty, right? But you know what? He said the exact same thing as Rosa did. Coper was a rather distant and aloof guy. I think you're right. Hmm, how did I come to think about it? I don't remember Coper being exceptionally likable either. Then why do you keep contradicting me? But then, if Coper wrote that note seriously, do you think that... Coper might have discovered something. Something only an apprentice was meant to know about. Which is why he would, which should explain why he hid it in a box. But now, it's an aloe's possession. But don't you think it could be Orion who took it? After all, he was with you in the pantry when you discovered it. It's not it. It can't be him. He was left in a daze after hitting his head. I checked under the flooring only on, under, only after he'd left. It has to be aloe. She spent her entire afternoon in that room. Damn it. Then let's hope she hasn't found a way to open it. Well, at least you've got the mm. note. But the note is completely useless. What we need is inside the box. Whatever Coper discovered must be pretty important if... If... If? It hit me like a meteorite crashing into Earth. A foreboding thought crosses my mind and leaves me a bitter real realization that my life is taking a turn that would have never ever been able to foresee. It makes me feel sick, lightheaded. It contorts my stomach out of its shape. I've been thinking about it. Line, I think I'm thinking about something that's kind of making sense, but it's ob also absolutely gut-wrenching. What? Eh? I don't know what you're thinking about, but I really don't like it, so spit it out already. What if... Whatever Coper discovered was so important, or, or compromising that, that he was silenced. That he was silenced, you say? Wait. Wait. Like in those spy movies? GB, you can't be seriously implying that, that the fire killed Coper and Mariko might have not just been a simple accident? Ooh, suspicious. I feel like they survived somehow, but I don't know. They gotta beat the rats, you know? Like, how do those rats get in there? Kind of thing. Embarrassing, etc. Damn, look at these cool-ass scenes. Are these 3D-generated scenes? Holy. No, 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 no. It, it can't be right. It's not possible. Pretty much everyone was in the greenhouse that afternoon. There's strictly no one we could put the blame on. Who'd even deliberately start that fire? I, I don't know. Don't ask me that question. I can't think of anyone who'd be able to do such a heinous thing. Plus, I can't remember much of that day. But only you and... Damn it. Never mind. Forget it. What about Mariko? Is Cope, it was Coper's discovery, so why was she killed too? I've been thinking about Maybe it. her death was accidental. Maybe she was at the wrong place at the wrong time. After all, Rosa told me the two of them were sometimes hanging out together. Do you think Coper might have told her what he discovered? Hmm. I open my mouth, ready to give an answer. But the words won't come out! I'm left wordless. You can't be right. Oh man, it's so messed up. It's so weird to be a simple coincidence anymore. We really need to retrieve that box, but Hallow's taking it away. Allow me to have my word in it. No, you can, you can leave. Anything Hallow confiscates goes straight to her room. Alexei? What is the matter? Well, well, you both look quite ghastly. Have you heard what we were talking about? Not really. I just heard the last mm. bit. But it seems like you're planning to retrieve something Hallow has confiscated, which is a rather intricate challenge. I could be of great assistance if you want. And since you are ready to put your lives in the line just to get the desired object, I can only imagine how valuable it must be, which piques my interest. So, what is it? Um... Not a single word spoken yet. We both understand what each other has in mind. Huh? What's with this sudden hesitancy? Should we tell him, GB? Hmm, I have no idea. Why is taking his decision always so complicated? There's no conclusive evidence yet, after all. It's all pretty much just theoretical. I wonder if I should tell Alexi... Alexei, everything we know, uh, everything, even though the only conclusive clue we have is that the note was written by Coper. I wish I wouldn't rely on it so often, but this situation is far too complex for me to come up with a decision on my own. 
What? GB? Are you kidding me? This is really insulting. You really have so little trust in me that you need to rely on this ridiculous ball of plastic. Ugh. You know it has nothing to do with how much I trust you. It's just that... Hmm, why is explaining it so embarrassing? You are old enough to figure out that you don't need that toy anymore. Have more faith in your own ability to take action. But it's not about a lack of... Oi. GB's found a strange box and a note hidden under the pantry's floor that said that our lives are at stakes because something dodgy is, ha is taking place in Donville. Lion! Sorry, bro, but things are heating up, so it's best we spit it out. Took you long enough. Glad to see it's at least one of you trusts me. Now then. But what is this nonsense about? Would you mind giving me a clear insight into your finding, GB? Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm cornered. I have no choice but to explain the whole situation to Alexa. Hmm. Well... You see... I give a thorough description of today's discovery to Alexei. No detail I can remember of is omitted. Slowly, the frustration on his face fades away and leaves a place... At least place to a strange mix of vividly curious and confu... Vivid curiosity and confusion. Not any kind of confusion. It almost seems like he's always known something like this would happen, but didn't expect it to take place so soon. A heavy silence looms over the entire hallway. I can only hear a lion occasionally sniffing behind me. Why? So, what do you think about it? I see. I can't say I'm surprised. Really? What? Do you remember the alleg allegory of the cave, the one I told you earlier? The, one, the way you perceive the world isn't always so accurate? We know little, so little about our own world. Which is why I'm not surprised you've made such a discovery. However... But again, let's not jump to conclusions, okay? All you have found is a curious note and a confusing riddle, with nothing else to back up its claims. We need to gather up more evidence. Which is why we want to retrieve that box that Allah was nicked. You said that she probably brought it up to her room, right? How do you know that? I once saw her go into her room with an object she had confiscated and walked out empty-handed. But as you can guess, it's not going to be an easy task, since her door can only be opened by uh, with using a pass card. Damn it. Which she carries on her at all times. Exactly. We already know all of that. What we need is a solution. Oh dear. You two really lack a pinch of foxiness. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an insult or a compliment. Neither of them. It's just an observation. Retrieving Aloe's pass card isn't impossible. What you need is a cunning ploy. Considering craftiness is one of Alexei's... Alexei's defining... Uh, sorry, who am I talking about? Considering craftiness is one of Alexei's defining characteristics, he most likely uh, already has something in the back of his mind. What is it? Clearly, you have an idea. What is it? If Aloe keeps the card on her step at all times, it's most likely in her pocket, which means the only way to retrieve it is when she's not wearing any clothes. You need to be stripped off for a uniform. Wait! What? Uh, uh, Alex, are you really implying that one of us should... D d d d with Aloe? Huh? What? Yeah, are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you, Lion? I was thinking about when she's taking a bath, you warp-minded gibbon. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I didn't... I didn't mean anything else. <laughs> Can't hold it in. The misunderstanding was far too nonsensical for not for me not to feel the urge to sit back and laugh at Lion. I mean, hey, if Lion is that if Lion is capable of doing that, <laughs> you genuinely thought Alexa would suggest that? Shut up. Of course not. I mean, I just thought that he. I was shocked that he would imply. That. That's all. I was saving my. I'm saving my purity for Listy for the day of our honeymoon. <sighs> uh, what a dork. I feel the left corner of my mouth slowly curving into a fond smile. Doesn't seem like he's matured past the stage of a child, but I have to admit it makes him more likable to me. Let's skip this revolting moment shortly, shall we? Or else I will need to inject some fluoro onto my brain to forget it. I have an idea. The best way to retrieve the password is to stealthily take it in her uniform when she is bathing. But another obstacle comes in, which is that the aloe bathes with the girls in their bathroom, which none of us are allowed to enter. Then how are we supposed to do it? The solution is obvious. Aloe takes 30 minutes to a whole hour to bathe. We need to ask one of the girls to get that pass card while she's distracted and hand it over to us. It's strange how I can sense some sort of enthusiasm in his voice. Damn, things are starting to heat up. People are going to start working on figuring this shit out. Okay. And how was he even able to come up with this idea so easily? Did my brain crack a spot? What did he just say? Did my brain crack a spot? Is that, is that what he just said? We could ask Rosa, but we'd have to explain uh, why we need Aloe's card. Which is precisely the reason we cannot rely on Rosa. Rosa is too righteous and as for Luca, a terrible idea. She's too irresponsible and capricious. There's only one girl left and uh, one with enough naive naivety in her bloodstream that she could easily get involved in any crime and never discover it. Luca? Elise. 
Did, I, did she already say? Did he already say Luca? And I just, hey, I just hey, didn't hey. think about it. No way. You leave Lissy out of this. Alexi's not wrong though. Hey. What am I hearing? Are you also implying that Lissy's stupid? Don't say that. Obviously not. I'm not talking about that part. Even though Liss, Liss, at least is in fact easy to trick. I'm talking about Rosa and Luca being bad options. As a side note, I said naive, not stupid. Furthermore, the part about Elise being naive isn't incorrect either. She even blindly believed me when I told her that food can taste different depending on the room you're in. Ever since then, I've seen her walk around the domain with her favorite snacks countless times. Fascinating experiment. No, no. I don't like the idea of you using Lissy like that. It's not because you believe yourself to be a genius that you're better than her. And as a fact, she's probably even more knowledgeable than you are. No need to take it so personally. I was just friendly. It was just a friendly teasing. But I suppose it would be useful to note that Elise's uh, knowledge entirely relies on her decent visual memory. She might be knowledgeable, but it's only theoretical knowledge. In any case, she would be likely never able to guess where to, when to apply it correctly. Which, in my humble opinion, makes a key difference between my knowledge and her knowledge. <laughs> You're just going around, going in and around to avoid confronting. Blah, 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 blah. You're just going in around to avoid confronting the possibility that you might not be as clever as you think. How dare you! I don't remember ever allowing you to question my intelligence. Qu secondly, if what you told me is true, then at least I'm clever enough to understand that including our feelings into this dilemma is completely fatuous. If our lives are truly at risk, then now is no time to blabber such sentimental nonsense. Oi! Oi, that's completely dumb! Both of you calm down. Arguing isn't going to bring us anywhere. Hear me out. Lion asking Elise to get me that pass, get that pass card for us isn't that bad. And like Alexi mentioned, she's the only one we can count on for the time being. We need that box at all costs, so if relying on Elise is necessary, then we have to do it. It's not even like she's risking anything, after all. Hmm. I don't buy that. I really don't like the idea at all. Do it, do it if you want, but don't count on me to ask it to her. Let's move on. Good grief, it took you several minutes and countless verbal offenses to finally acknowledge that my suggestion is the best option. The pumping vein on Lion's forehead and his uh, constrained silence both reflect his effort to hold in his anger. He's never been a spiteful guy and usually does his best to avoid any side or sort of conflict. Seeing him so riled up is a rather unpleasant sight for me. I need to come up with something to say to extinguish the explosive situation. Hmm. Uh, let's move on, right? We can ignore the last bit. Uh, uh, d what? Uh, good job, Alex. I, uh, uh. Was it? Considering how poorly it's been received, I can only wonder. I mean, uh, it's surprising how fast you've been able to find a solution. I tend to say alerted and never ignore any possibility. I guess this is pretty convenient. Now, on that note, I had different plans in mind. I was supposed to get some telescope lenses in the lab and get my gears ready for tonight's astronomy event. Now then. We'll further discuss this whole ordeal later. I've had enough of it for today. See you later. Yeah, thanks for your help, Alexa. I see you tomorrow. Felion is just in the pillar right now. It's hilarious to me. Why are you looking at me like I'm the bad guy of the story? I'm not accusing you of anything. Neither of you are guilty. All I think is maybe you might have overreacted a little. I might have overreacted a little, yeah, but I don't like how stuck up he can be sometimes. And insulting Lucy was downright rude. I don't think he meant to offend anyone, but it's true that insisting on calling her naive wasn't really appropriate either. I wanted to reconnect with him, but I think it's pretty much dead now. You both need time to cool down a little. You can still try to settle things down later. Communication is key, after all. Yeah. I guess, I guess. Things aren't turning out the way I expected. Ooh, another cool scene. Adversity has barely started peeking its nose around the corner, and it seems like it's already corroding our little community. But I want to believe that nothing could br ever break our bonds apart, however. It's too early to turn a blind eye to what could potentially happen from this point on. Is it going to make me save the game because it said that? Nope. No, it isn't. I take a breath in the green woods. This evening feels exceptionally warm, though a bit humid. I can hear floufons, fluffins, crying, uh, causing a ruckus far off behind me while some occasional discussions fade in and out of the distance. I keep hoping to see a Leon and a Lion and Alexa I come to for me to discuss, to debate, to provide some comfort. What doesn't seem to be happening? I'm alone. And while I usually prefer sitting in this bosky field by myself for once, I wish I'd have some company. But it doesn't happen. I'm alone. Maybe they need the time to swallow the pill. I think I also need it. But I can't help but fear the idea that no one will ever be there by my side. I trust them all, I love them all, I'd be blindly sacrifice myself for any of them. But would they do the same? I'd like to believe so. Though I'm not expecting them to do as much as I would do for them, I want to believe that at least they will always stand by me. So I shake my head, hating myself for questioning their loyalty when I've never had a single reason to doubt them. And I wonder why I constantly feel the need to overthink everything. It's exhausting. 
There is my save point that I early guessed. Dining room. Well. Well, well. It's untypically quiet tonight. Hmm. Let's see. May I have your attention, please? Right. I have a good announcement to make. Aloe has scheduled a picnic following Doc's return tomorrow. It'll be a good opportunity for us to spend a warm moment together. It's good! Brilliant! It's been so long since we had one. I... I can get my kite ready then. Why? Why are you the one announcing it as if uh, Halo is the one behind it? Is there a problem? Is there any reasonable issue with that? Mere question. Considering tonight's dreary atmosphere, I thought I could use this topic to bring a bit of con conv conviviality to this table. I also need to ask, what kind of cake would you allow us to br uh, bake for the picnic? All the way! A strawberry sh a chocolate Charlotte all the way! What about you? L uh, what about you, Lion? Any cake is fine for me. I don't mind either. I'm not exceptionally fond of desserts anyway. Is that so? Alright, um, then what about the both of you? Me? Uh, whatever is easier for you to bake, Rosa. Yeah. Same. You guys are not being very cooperative. This is quite disheartening. But, fine, we'll go with the strawberry chocolate Charlotte then. Hey! And it's a victory for me! Alright, everyone. Well, everyone. Here comes Aloe with a big pot of nutritious, spelled wrong food. A savory aroma flutters and fills the entire room of its fragrance. More prominently, the unmistakable scent of tarragon wafts through the air, reaching my nose with its strong redolence. Only then do I notice how hungry I am. What is it? What is this odiferous scent, O oh, Aloe? It smells exceedingly strong. Oh. Hmm. But it's my, proven my provincial beef stew. Is there something wrong with it? I don't know how to say that. Criticizing others is his strongest skill. Excuse you? Mind your business line, would you? Quit. Time out, time out. What is with this animosity? I don't want to hear any rumpus during dinner, do you understand? So. Ophelion, quick making unnecessary comments, and that's for you, Alexander. Be polite, would you? I spent almost three hours to prepare dinner. If you don't want to eat it, then you can do like Luca and pick some leftovers up in the fridge, okay? Now, for all those who don't want to have some of my odiferous stew, hand over your plates. <laughs> mayo, mayo eggies right on time for the munchies. That looked really painful for the ankle. Time slows down as uh, Luca twists her ankle and loudly stumbles across the room. Everyone mentions, sorry, everyone remains frozen in time, too stunned to react, as a mi mixture of gooey yolk and mushy egg white is, hur is hurled into the air. I really liked that scene, by the way, with the reaction. That was cool. It's only when we notice uh, who those two eggs have landed on that we all snap out of our stup stupor. That was, that fucking face. <laughs> it was terrifying. Uh oh. Oh dear. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Um, oopsie. But what about her ankle, bro? Great. There's a whole there's a whole sprite with uh, with this guy having egg on his head. Luca. I've already told you several times not to run around with a plate in your hands. Oh. I wasn't running. I twisted my ankle. I'm sorry. Lu Luca. Alexei's whole body starts shaking, which is generally not a good sign. He's probably on the blink of exploding. Brink. <laughs> you... Hmm. Huh? To everyone's surprise, Alexei takes a deep breath and instantly recovers his, his self-position. Then he calmly re rotates his upper body like a robot to face Luca and gives her an emotionless glare that would probably scare death itself. Luca? Even an ostrich with a half a brain and two broken legs would have mo better motor skills than you do. If you cannot walk on your feet, then do yourself a favor and try again on your hands next time. Well... I guess it was all just a clumsy incident. Rosalind. I'm going to go help uh, Alexander clean himself. Rosalind, you're up for serving duty or else... Dude, egg in your hair would suck. I'm just thinking about that right now. Having an egg just drop in your hair like that, especially like long hair, would suck ass. You're gonna. You're up for some serving duty, or else the stew is gonna get uh, turn cold. Meh. What a drama queen! I didn't even do it on purpose. What was that whole ostrich thing anyway? That was kind of weird. We know you didn't do it on purpose. Don't worry. That is. What worries me though is how choleric Alexei seems tonight. He probably feels a bit lonely. Maybe he needs a hug. Him and I got into a shouting match earlier. 
I tapped the wooden surface of the table with my fingers to catch Lion's attention, fearing that he might reveal more than intended once again. Lion. What about it? Oh, really? What happened? Nothing much. We had a disagreement, but you know Alex. He doesn't like when other people have their own opinion. Hmm. So it's fair to assume that it's another one of those unnecessary conflicts, right? Please, Lion, make sure to fix it shortly. What the? Wait, why me? I cannot know who is in the wrong in this conflict, so I'm not asking you to apologize. However, I want you to take the first step and calmly find a middle ground with him. How terrible! I really thought that Dottie's departure would have taught you all that we need to enjoy our time together. You don't know how long it will take for us to meet, out, meet again out, once outside. Which is why I'm asking you to settle things down with Alexi, Lion. This quarrel will bring you nothing but regrets. <laughs> Lion looks away, defeated. Not necessarily because he's lost the argument, but because for a moment, winning a meaningless argument became more important to him than his bond with Alexi. In this situation, both sides are blamable, but there's no pride in being the last one to admit their wrongdoing. And, and unlike Alexei, Lion is not smug enough to evade his mistakes, which is what, something Rosa is well aware of. <sighs> I guess you're right. I'll talk to him tonight. After all, he'll probably even forget my face now that Luca's on the unforgivable crime of ruining his hair. If someone gets killed, killed tonight, it's certainly not going to be me. Huh? Wait, what? Don't be stupid. I didn't do it intentionally. He's going to stay mad at me for... He's not going to stay mad at me forever. Is he? Actually, I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Alexei is very clever, but vi even more, he's very proud. He doesn't like to be ridiculed. Do you guys remember the day Orion said to hit a rotten fish in a bag under Alexei's clothes? I remember Alexei's revenge as being exceptionally, hmm, memorable and unforgiving, to say the least. When that happened... <laughs> you mean when did that happen? When that happened? When that happened? Orion no remember. Don't go caveman on us, Orion. You don't remember it? It was a, a couple of days ago. His brain po probably suppressed what happened. I wouldn't want to remember that either. I get chills just imagining if I were the target of his revenge that day. I don't remember. It's strange. I really don't remember. <laughs> Which further reinforces Lion's point. Wait! Alex, I wouldn't do that to me, right? Who knows? You'll have to discover that tomorrow morning. After all, Alexa is a bit like a nocturnal predator. He loves to strike at night. His reprisals are usually effective, and you never know when they're going to happen. If I were you, I'd leave with one eye open. Oh, no. <laughs> Alexei, wait! <laughs> she really bolted out like a rocket. She's usually not that fast during PE class. Oh, my poor little Luca. You guys are such meanies. The tensions ease off while the general mood gets more lighthearted. I can almost forget what happened today. Yeah, let's just all bully Luca. That's how we can bond. Right? We all gotta get along by bullying one of us. <laughs> Good job, guys. We did it. That's true family. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Solve the following quadratic equations in complex number system. Let's see. Please don't make me actually do this. I hate math. Or at least this kind of math. Good. Fucking Good. quadratic equations. All right, that should be good. Got two days of homework done in a row. That way, I'll have plenty of time to investigate. What about you, Orion? Why are you still studying? <sighs> I've skipped three days of homework, so Al Aloe wants me to do them now. What a pain in the ass. Maybe you should take it more seriously, you know? The point, none. <sighs> You're not recreating a bright, bright future for yourself. Fate doesn't re rely on my own volition. You give your everything, and in the blink of an eye, your life takes a turn for the worst. I'll pass. I see. That's a pretty, uh, fatalistic point of view. Ta-da! <laughs> What's up, bros? How you doing? I'm well. I'm having the time of my life. God, I wish I could just be watching Shrek 2 instead. I'm doing okay! Oops, wrong person. <laughs> I thought I was... Uh, him talking because his picture showed up, but it's actually me. I'm doing okay. I got two days of homework done in a row. Right, can we talk about that? Why are you still studying when those study time was ended like an hour ago? I thought I could have his homework for evening tomorrow. What? Yeah, but like, you're wasting this evening, so that's kind of pointless. But who cares? I've got something important to talk about. You don't mind that I borrow you, Twiggy Boy? Uh, borrow your... What? You don't mind that I borrow your... You Twiggy Boy, Orion? Your Twiggy Boy? It's... All right, what's with the na nickname coming back? What would I mind? Of course you'd say that. Two wiggy boy. Two wiggy boy. As for you, you're coming with me. Okay, so hear me out. 
I was with Lissy and we were chilling in the garden. Can we please what involve? Of course they're not. Oh, oh God, is, auto, is it auto advancing? It's like I find the right words to say. I guess you half person. I respect you. So the other half, think? but whatever. So should I do it? Uh huh? I scratch my face in confusion as I try to de decipher his long-winded jabber in my head. Uh, if I were to fast forward a future length film with the speed of Lion's speech, I would probably end after a minute. What was your question again? Huh? That wasn't clear enough. Once again, speak slower. Uh, may thou, Sir Giordano, assist me in my attempts to make amends with Sir Alexander. Do I have a choice? <laughs> of course not, moron. Can they please uh, have Orion join? Because I want Orion to be involved, please. Please, game. Ooh. Look. So, well, hmm, sorry for your tablecloth. Apology accepted. I'm very proud of you for show taking, showing such initiative. Well, actually, to be honest, Aloe scolded me earlier for not taking full responsibility for my own wrongdoings. And she added that if I want to be a good person, I need to apologize for all the bad th things I've done recently. <laughs> what a mature decision. Oh, and Lion, while you're here, or Leon, oh, he said, she said Leon, I've been saying it wrong, damn it. And Leon, after, while you're, st while you're here, it's not like eavesdropping on us like a creep. Remember when your favorite blog got stuck on the roof of the gymnasium? Yeah. And the hot pepper in your post-workout protein milkshake last week? Okay, so what? And that fluff and poop in your shoes? Spit your words. So what, Luca? Well. Well, uh, it was me. Sorry about that. What the? So it was you? Are you kidding me, Luca? Why, you little... Uh, uh, uh. Leon, no. She admitted her faults. Accept her apologies. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, apology accepted. Leon hisses through her, his uh, teeth bitterly, like a viper on the verge of striking. Okay. Well, that's one boy lifted. Exactly. Doesn't it feel right to take responsibility for your own wrongdoings? <laughs> True. I love her in that outfit. Except for her apology, huh? Got any other great ideas? Keep it down, would you? Whoops, I didn't mean to open the save. Alright, sure, we'll save. <sighs> well, she did apologize. I like to believe she's learned something from this, hasn't she? Yeah, she learned that she can just do anything bad as long as she says it afterwards. And then she can just leave. That's what she's learned. Where's my nighttime coffee? I'm walking so slow. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wait, I'm, aren't I going to a fel- Wait, where is he actually? I don't even know where he is. Am I supposed to know where he is? Or am I just kind of randomly walking around until I find, uh, your boy? You know what? Sorry it's another shorter episode, but I think I'm going to end right here before I have to go on a very long, slow walk around everywhere to figure things out. I kind of do want to visit everything again and see what happens while we're walking around in a socks and bare feet. But uh, we'll figure this out and try to resolve this conflict in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Discord. Check out all the links in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.